is Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. And in today's video, well, before we get into today's video, we wanted to quickly announce the winner of our 500th video SCAR Audio Base Package Giveaway. A ton of you have been asking where we are with this giveaway, who won the giveaway. Well, at this point in time, we're happy to announce that Brendan L. from Ridgefield, Connecticut has won that base package and we have sent him that package his way. We hope, Brendan, you enjoy it. And thanks again for everybody else that participated. Hopefully it was a positive experience. We had a lot of people enter this raffle giveaway. And uh, as we continue to hit milestones on the channel, we hope to do and continue to do fun things like this. Well, that's about it for this quick little video intro. Let's go ahead and roll the footage of our Maserati Ghibli radio install. Thanks again for watching, and I'm Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation. Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're gonna be working on this 2014 Maserati Ghibli. Now, obviously, you're not gonna see a lot of these on the road, and so it's not gonna be necessarily a how-to or tutorial type video today. It's more so for your entertainment. Now, in this install today, we're actually gonna be replacing the factory touchscreen radio with something that's aftermarket. Now, unfortunately, there's not a ton of aftermarket support um, in the US domestic market. So we found a kit out of China that we hope will actually be good and work well in our install today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're here at the bench. Uh, we've got the factory radio on out. Um, everything's been disassembled. A lot of evidence that it's been out before. So hopefully everything works here. This is the unit that came in from China. Um, this was ordered off of either AliExpress or Alibaba, some site like that. Um, but it should be a direct plug and play. We do have to transfer over our vents um, into the new kit itself, and it comes with some miscellaneous wiring. So hopefully it'll retain all the factory features while adding a ton of new features on this new radio. Um, essentially, it's all plug and play. Um, there's gonna be a lot of testing involved. Uh, we haven't used this kit before, so I went ahead and uh, got everything loomed, uh, a little bit more test of tape just to protect it in the dash from all the sharp edges. Um, and I guess without further ado, we uh, jump in and start getting things hooked up and hopefully, cross our fingers, this will all work. So we got this thing all back in. Now we off camera spent a ton of time getting the harnesses all connected. Uh, but actually, I am surprised it all works just fine. Um, it communicates with the gauge cluster just fine. You don't have to keep the factory radio. Um, what's the only funky thing about this is this protrusion out here doesn't allow the cup holders all the way open. So 
we tried to install it with the cup holders already open and you can't get the radio in so it's it's one of those things that you'll have to sacrifice is your cup holders um, but everything is back in and in a place this also doesn't get super tight up here even with those clips and uh, we tried multiple times to get it to seat flat and well that's all we can uh, I guess say about that it's not a perfect fit and finish but it works and I am so surprised we got the doors open and it shows you that it's uh, actually a pretty cool unit um, has a ton of different options really in the end we just wanted CarPlay which we got here it all seems to be working great so uh, yeah there we go uh, interesting install we're super uh, impressed by it when this came it actually converted everything over to, to Chinese and to uh, the metric system but we're able to get everything switched back over within the settings of the radio uh, to display everything appropriately here on the dash as well so that's about it uh, super interesting install and uh, yeah just another unique job that we had here in the Provo Beast garage uh, if you want to pick one of these up we will link it down in the description here for you um, we're not paid by that link whatsoever. It's just more so um, in case you are interested. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Post great content on the channel all the time and we'll see you in the next